Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss about Java libraries. What are the JDK 1.3 packages available and how to include it into the Java program. And also we are going to discuss about uh, Java programming. That is to a types of Java programming. So first we are going to see about Java package. Java package is a collection of various classes. So uh, if you include a package, you will have number of classes which is included into the program. Okay. So it is nothing but uh, predefined uh, programs. So classes are nothing but predefined programs which is already been stored. You are not going to use all the packages. You are going to you are not going to uh, include all the classes. If you need some package specifically for program, you can include that and use the functions which is available in the class. So each class contains different function. So each Java package has different various classes and also each class in that package has different functions. So you will have lot of functions available in single class. Same like that you will have various classes available in Java package. To use specific function, package containing that function should be included. So you need to include the package into the program so that you can use the classes available as well as the functions available in each class in the program. To include that you need to uh, uh, use a keyword called import that is very important. So you have to use that will be the first step in the program. Okay, So import is a keyword which is used to include the package. Once you include the package on its behalf it will include the classes available as well as the functions available in each class is also will be included into the program. Now how we will see how to import the package. So the syntax for importing. So import and uh, you should have a space java.io.. So this is a package okay, which is used to include the classes related to IO package. IO is nothing but input and output. Okay, If you want to get the input from the user or uh, give output to the user. Uh, then you need to include some functions which can be used in the program some statements to input the values and also some statement to display the values okay so these values are already that is this are all nothing but programs okay which is already been uh, stored predefined program which is already been stored into the java compiler okay so the java compiler knows what are the statements you are going to use it so once you include this uh, io package it recognizes the words so that it will execute the program without any problem. Next another one is imp, uh, import space java dot util dot asterisk. So you can see another class which is included uh, include classes related to utility functions. So it is a latest development. Previously we were using only IO packages to input and output use the functions which is used to input and output as now later on they included some utility functions available including some input and output functions. So uh, this is the latest development. So in this the asterisk symbol denotes that all the classes made available. That means in a package you will have various classes available. All the classes can be used in the program if you write like this. So import java dot whatever package dot asterisk means you are going to include all the classes. You are going to uh, use all the classes that means you are going to use all the function in each class in the program. So if you want to give specifically that means you can see give like this import java dot util dot scanner. Now what happens is you are not having asterisk you are going to specifically include scanner class into the program that means the functions which is available under scanner class will be included into the program and it can be used. Now we are going to see various packages available in Java development kit that is JDK. First one is java.lang. So which is used to support the classes containing string, character, math, integer, thread, that means almost everything. So whatever you are going to use it in the program, whatever functions you are going to use it in the program, we, everything is available under java.lang and you can see that java.lang is the default package of Java programming. So it is by default okay, included in the program. That means you no need to specify that. It is automatically be imported in any Java program. So java.lang. So import java.lang. It is not necessary to specify because it is 
by default you will be included that means this is a very important package which should be used in all the programs so if you forget that then you want you will get lot of errors okay that's the reason uh, the package the compiler itself uh, uses as a default package now java io is we already discussed about it to support classes to deal with input and output statements so normally if you want to get the input and output from uh, input from the user and output to the user you are going to use this package second next one is java.applet to support classes to generate applet so uh, say for example if you are going to create some applets and you are going to uh, display it on the in the web browser then you need some specific uh, functions used in the program so these functions are available under the class applets okay which is available under the fun package applet so you have to include that java.applet java.net to support classes for network related operation and dealing with url so all the network related operations that is you are going to use internet and you are or you are going to use network and you are going to deal with url uniform resource locator then you have to use this include this java.net package into the program java.awt to support abstract window toolkit so awt is nothing nothing but abstract window toolkit and managing gui interface so if you are going to design some uh, say text boxes or message boxes or you are going to display some buttons okay in the program then you have to include this uh, package so that you can display so normally when you create a java program it will be normal text okay if you want to display design something then you need to use graphical user interface so this java package java.awt will help and uh, help to include all this in the program now java.txt uh, for lo localizing text elements such as dates times and currently uh, etc that is you are going to display the uh, if you want to display the date or time and the current date or the current time then you are going to use this package java.txt into the program and you can use some functions which is available in the classes and then you can uh, include it in the program so it will display the system time and date next is java.math to support mathematical functions such as square roots uh, cube roots or lot of uh, mathematical functions available both for integer as well as for decimal you have a lot of mathematical functions so you can use uh, java.math into the program so that it will be uh, used in the program so you don't show any error if you use some name so it will it be like a shortcut where you're going to just find the square root it will display the square root if you want to find this cube root you're going to use the functions cube root and it will get you the cube root so it is like a ready-made functions available in the program now you're going to see about types of java programming basically there are two types of that is two uh, different platforms for writing java programs first one is java application second one is java applets so you are going to see what is java application it is also called a standalone system so you are going to develop some program in your normal computer which is not connected to any other inter internet or network you call it a standalone system okay so it developed by users that run standalone in client or server either in client or servers client and server is nothing but in a network you will have server where from server you are going to get some data to the client client is a person who is using the computer that is uh, the users right so if it is a standalone there is not no link between client and server either it is developed in the client system or it is developed in the server system all right next is java instructions are interpreter with the help of jvm so you already discussed about jvm in the previous video so it is interpreted so that it can run in any of the platforms so it is allowed to run in uh, their native environment so it can be it can run in uh, web browser it can run in uh, windows it can run in the, uh, linux so it depends right so the jvm is interpreted so uh, with the help of jvm java instructions are interpreted have complete access to all the resources in the computer as develop uh, as a development technology stand alone so all the resources the complete access will be in the computer so whatever you do which will be available only in the computer that's the reason you call it a standalone so all the resources can be used which is available in the computer in the standalone application right next is java applets so you call it as internet applets an applet is a program that 
that can be included in an HTML page. So applet is nothing but a program, okay, which is included in a HTML page. Normally, you know that whenever you open web browser, you will have some HTML pages available. It is as uh, you can see some images or some uh, uh, animations, okay, that is nothing but applets. It can be viewed in Java technology enabled browser. So uh, if you have Java enabled in your system, then you can view applets. Okay, some browsers which is not Java technology enabled one, then you cannot you, you cannot see the applets available. So they will ask you to uh, download or uh, install Java so that it will be visible. That is some uh, graphics or animations or images will which can be viewed if it is a Java technology enabled browser. Now already almost all the browsers are enabled ones because uh, you know you can see uh, in an, any website lot of applets are available so if it is not enabled then you don't look nice so they enabled all the browsers latest browsers with java technology applet codes is executed by the browsers jvm so here you got a special uh, jvm for browsers which will convert the bytecode into the uh, browser code okay which can, that is machine code which can run in the browsers Applet Java applets were introduced in the, uh, for the first in the first version of the Java language because you, we already know the discussed that Java is introduced basically to uh, run some j applets. Okay, because uh, Java is also uh, an object-oriented programming. We already have C++ as an object-oriented programming language. The reason for introducing Java is to create applets and run the applets in the web browser. Okay, so in the first version of Java itself, it was available and it was introduced in the year 1995 hope you uh, understood this uh, concepts uh, we'll meet in the next video till then thank you